Hi, good morning. It's Brian from Riverside Reptiles. Uh, this morning is an exciting day because we are moving the tortoises into their brand new tortoise enclosures at the Riverside Reptiles Education Center. Um, I'm a little tired right now. I have not drinking my coffee yet, but there's a 65 pound Sakata tortoise in the back of my forerunner and we are going over to my father-in-law's house, John Miller, because um, he was very kind enough to allow me to keep some tortoises in his basement because I ran out of room in my basement. So we're going over to his house right now to pick up uh, a smaller sulcata, he's about um, a 30 pound one, and then my two Aldabra tortoises, which are hovering around 25, 30 pounds a piece right now. He usually wants me to take my boots off, but I'm not taking my boots off today. Hello? Come for your tortoises. Alright, here they are. Huh, it's gonna be heavy. Alright, let's put them in the back of my truck. Well, we are on our way to the center. I have over 150 pounds of tortoises in the back. I can hear them clunking around. Um, hopefully they're not going to the bathroom, but they probably are. So uh, as soon as we get to the center, we'll uh, start rolling again and uh, bring the tortoises into their nice new enclosures. All right, we're here at the center. And I'm gonna open up my trunk to see what horrors await me. Ew. <laughs> I knew it would be bad. All right, I'm gonna put down the phone because this is gonna be really gross. It's gross. But uh, we got them in here, into the new enclosures. This is the, uh, these are the Sakatas, or African spur thigh tortoises. They're a nice new huge tortoise enclosure. And on this side, on the other side of the rock wall, are the Aldabra tortoises. They're exploring their new digs. Right above them, we have uh, a mercury vapor bulb and a heat lamp. We'll probably be replacing the mercury vapors with um, metal halide UVB bulbs, which came out not too long ago, which uh, pump out a little bit more UVB uh, for these guys, for their calcium absorption and bone growth. 3200 watt infrared heater. Uh, it goes down at uh, a 90 degree angle. Um, on each side, so the heat dispersion hits about 10 feet here on each side. Should warm the area, the basking areas, up to around 90, 95 degrees. And these two have never met before, so we'll keep a close eye on them. Male cicadas typically uh, get along in captivity as long as there's not a female in the mix. If there's a female in here, then they'll constantly fight uh, for the female. Um, but they might have at it a little bit to, uh, to see who's the more dominant one. My money is on the bigger one now. Hopefully they just get along. <laughs> 